Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot La Mode. And today on Hot La Mode, we are going to be talking about the Met Gala. Let me just say, the theme of the Met Gala was honoring Ray Kawakubo, who is the founder of Comme des Garçons and Dover Street Market. Kawakubo is a institution in fashion because of her ability to bring avant-garde to people. She is an amazing fashion designer. I could go on and on and on about her. But this year, the Met Gala was very disappointing, and I am prepared to roast the living shit out of anybody who did not go in the theme. That is my problem. The thing about the Met Gala is, there's a theme, you need to follow the theme. If you don't follow the theme, you're a fucking asshole. Cause guess what bitch, millions of us sit around every fucking year and talk about the first Monday in May, and we're like, oh my god, they're gonna like do it this year, like they're gonna finally like, be in the theme, and then these fuckers never are. We have fucking Carly Kloss. She is wearing this little black blazer that is covering barely her vagina, and some shitty black heels. Okay, who gives a fuck? You're not going to dinner at fucking Cipriani's, bitch. You're going to the Met Gala, where the theme is Comme des Garçons. What, did, what got lost in translation? Pretty positive the fucking invitation was in English, and you didn't get it. Next up, we have Zoe Kravitz and Oscar de la Renta by Fernando Garcia and Laura Kim. She looks amazing. They kept within the theme, thank God. There is some architectural feedback going on here. She was wearing just a very slim fitting little dress and then the cape on it jets out. And then, you know what they did? They actually put some fabric and made some sort of texture that is reminiscent of Comme des Garçons and kept it within the Oscar de la Renta vibe. So thank you, Zoe Kravitz, your fucking cheekbones literally could cut fucking diamonds, okay? So you look amazing. Thank you everybody involved in this because you did a good job. Next up, Gigi Hadid. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say? And you know that I don't fucking say this ever. Good job, Gigi, you look great. I love the hair. I love this fucking dress because, oh, I don't know, you seem to happen to keep within the fucking theme. Thank you. I love this little half architectural jacket going on with the tool. It's great. It looks beautiful on you. I don't know about the color that much. It kind of washes you out a little bit, but you look really great and I think it's really nice and I'm happy that you did this because it's cute. Next up, we have Caroline Kennedy. Caroline Kennedy was the ambassador to fucking Japan and is not a fashion person and guess what she's wearing? Comme des Garçons. So if the fucking ambassador of Japan could fucking wear Comme de Garçon, I think that everybody else could too. She looks great, she looks amazing, she doesn't have arms, it's whatever, who cares, she's wearing Comme. I'm livid, I'm so livid. Okay, next up you have Haley Baldwin. Okay Haley, like I get it, like you don't look like trash today, usually you do, but like this fucking Valentino moment, I don't actually know if this is Valentino, but it looks like a Valentino moment or like a Scaparelli moment, not the theme of Comme de Garçon, but um, thanks for trying, at least you look okay today. Like, I don't know, ugh. like you're wearing a fucking tube top and fucking three different cake layers. Fuck you, move on to the next one. Okay, here's the thing, Zendaya's up next. The dress, I hate it. I hate it so much, I think it's so fucking ugly and Dolce Gabbana and makes me wanna throw up everywhere. Um, it's way too aggressive and like now, ever since the Will Pay Rihanna dress, Everybody is like, oh my god, I'm gonna do like such a long train and like I'm gonna have a moment. No, you're not. It's not happening. It was a one-time thing. Rihanna looked amazing and now she's living her truth, okay? But I will say the hair is very comme de garçon and I will give her brownie points for the hair because that's like a comme de garçon hair and I appreciate that. So Zendaya, you pass. Next year, do better. Okay, next up we have Kim Kardashian. I get if you're wearing this to like pick up North from school, cause you're a mom, like that I get, but like you're at the Met Gala, babe. Like, what are we doing here? Like, you know what? You don't have to show your ass all the time. You could wear an architectural piece by Comme de Garçon and not think about solely yourself today. But you know what? I'll give you a pass cause we had the whole Paris Kanye moment, but next year, get on your shit and do better. Next up, we have Cara Delevingne. I feel like Miss Cara missed the theme for this year. Last year, it was Mono Sex Machina, which is like machines. This year, you're doing that. She's wearing this like spray paint on her shaved head and her eyebrows look really good though. But she's wearing Chanel. Um, I just don't really get why you're wearing metallics to Comme des Garçons because that's not their vibe. 
So just help me, help me, tell, tell me where we went wrong. Um, next up you have Ashley Graham in this like living La Vida Loca moment. I don't know how I feel about this, honestly. Like there's just so much happening and I'm just like, take a step back. No, I am really getting like Copacabana moments. You know, I don't even know what other Spanish references you want me to make. Next up, you have Tracy Ellis Ross. Thank you, Tracy is wearing Comme des Garçons. She looks amazing. I'm so happy that she's here. Um, she actually did the theme. Thank you for like, you know, doing the fucking theme of the whole event that we're all here to watch and to be at. But you know what? It's fine, Tracy. Like if she does not get invited to every fucking Met Gala ever, Anna and Tour, watch out, bitch. I'm coming for you. Next up, we have Jordan. Um, I think this is a very, 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 very Comme de Garçon moment done through another designer's eyes, which I appreciate. I don't know who this is. I thought it was Monse, but apparently it's not. But I will say it's architectural, it's textural, but Jordan, you look great. Kendall Jenner is wearing a piece of fabric tied around her waist, as RuPaul would say. Your lips look massive. What happened to them? Kylie couldn't do it. You can't do it. Let's just stop. Um, she's wearing a La Perla. Um, you could have, I don't know, maybe made some Comme des Garçons moment, like made a dress out of fucking lingerie. Like, I don't know, you could have done something and then you throw a piece of rhinestone fabric on her. Next up, you have Katy Perry, who hosted the event. She's wearing Margiela. Let me just say, like, I'm living for the actual design of the jacket because it's really beautifully done rhinestones. I think it's really pretty. But I'm gonna say I feel like it's a bit of a cop-out and I feel like everybody's really just talking about this veil. Like anybody could have fucking wore a veil, but like she wore a veil and that's why everybody's like losing their fucking shit. Why aren't you wearing comb? You were literally hosting the event and you aren't wearing comb. Now we're on Sophia Richie. So obviously nobody's helping this girl. She always looks really out of place and scared. I think somebody needs to call child services cause like, why is a small girl in every social situation ever and looks so uncomfortable and like scared and like needs a friend? Why is nobody doing that for her? Again, last year was Monastix Machina. Your stylist obviously did not know that. So why are you wearing this now with a fucking leather jacket? Um, I'm in New York right now. I was there when it was happening. You didn't need a leather jacket. I'm sure you were sweating your actual tits off. Like, no, you did not need that. Next up, you have fucking Katie Holmes and Zach Posen. <sighs> this is so boring. Who cares? Like, you didn't do Comme des Garçons. Like, Zach, you literally make like the most architectural gowns ever and you give us this. What part of this was architectural? Like none of it. It was ugly and sad and gross. And her makeup is horrible. She looks like she's the crib keeper. Next up, you have Solange. <sighs> Solange looks amazing. She's wearing Tom Brown. She actually did the fucking theme of this fucking experience. She's wearing this like puffer coat with a puffer train. See, if you're gonna like do a train, which like I really don't encourage because last year the train was the thing, at least make it like interesting. Don't just give me big dress, big train. Give me a fucking puffer coat train because who thought of that? Nobody, so thank you. Also, she's wearing ice skate heels. Comme des garçons as fuck. So thank you, thank you Solange. We knew you were gonna, we knew, we knew you were gonna do this for us, so thank you. Next up, Madonna um, look is wearing camo. Hopefully she gets shot because what? Like where? Like who? Like bitch, I can't. Um, she's wearing Jeremy Scott. Also, who threw on all this fucking jewelry? Like people who like must have been just like throwing fucking chains at her and whatever caught on to the rest of the dress stayed. She's also just wearing like shit ton of camo and leather and she just looks horrible and like I'm over this honestly like I don't even want to fucking do this video anymore. I'm so upset about this experience. Next up we have Giselle Bunchen. Um, again, Mono Six Machina was last year. Like what did you miss? Like bitch you were there. Like you wore the same dress last year. If you were like wearing a slinky ass dress, like I don't fuck with you at all. Like I don't fuck with you. Um, And then you have fucking Selena Gomez and Coach. Like what? Fuck you, you're a bitch. You didn't wear a Comme de Garçon. You didn't wear anything actually interesting or 
whatsoever. You came with your boyfriend. You both look boring as fuck. And I just can't. Like, wow, you stitched fucking little whatever those are onto a dress. Stuart Vevers, I expect more of you. I talk so much good shit about you on this channel. Do better, bitch. Okay, next up we have Priyanka Chopra. Honestly, like, stop trying to be Rihanna. Like, people are like, oh my god, Priyanka, you look so great. You're killing it. You're not in the theme, you're trying to be Rihanna, and it's not working, so next time actually be original, and maybe we will enjoy you. Next up you have Jaden Smith, and if you didn't already know, Jaden Smith held his hair on the carpet. That is the most Comme de Garçon thing I have ever heard of in my entire life, and applause, because you actually like cared about, you thought about it, you were original, you made me laugh, but also made me totally interested. Jaden Smith, respect, babe. Mindy Kapling, A, why are you invited? Firstly, B, who dressed you? C, who hates you so much that they allowed you to wear that? And D, are you blind? Did you not know that you looked horrible in that? Like, who wears fringe on the bottom with a sack dress? Like you look like a fringy little sack. Get help. Don't come back next year. You're uninvited via me. Next up, you have Pharrell and his wife named Ella, Ellen, I don't know her like name, but she's wearing Comme de Garçon and it's really enlightening and happy and makes me not want to stab myself in the fucking trachea. Um, she's wearing this little Comme de Garçon jumpsuit. He's also wearing Comme de Garçon and it's great because he's wearing like men's wear Comme de Garçon and it's like, okay, great. Like, thank you for actually doing something interesting and lovely and wonderful. And like your pants say right on them. So like you could literally punch me in the face and it'd be like, you, you did great. Okay. And so now we just have to talk about the baddest bitch that ever lived and that's Miss Rihanna. Now, you know, the last video that I did, I talked shit about Rihanna's Gucci rhinestone jumpsuit. But here, she's wearing Comme des Garçons. She has her hair and her makeup on fucking point. It is V Japanese. She's living her truth. She's wearing this amazing Comme des Garçons 2017 piece that, you know, I don't know, keeps within the fucking theme of Comme des Garçons. Um, also, I love the shoes. I think they're fantastic. Overall, she looks amazing. Why did nobody else fucking get like any idea from last year and think, oh, maybe I should keep within the theme and like I'll like actually get some press. But no, no, Rihanna looks amazing. She's fantastic. She's an icon. She's the poster child for fashion. She can do no wrong. And guess what? The bitch doesn't even dress herself. Other people do it for her. She doesn't even pick out what she fucking wears. So that's the tea. Like, when you got it, you got it. Okay, so this is a little message for Anna Wintour. I may never get hired at Condé Nast ever, but you know what? At least I fucking said it. I had some integrity. Do better. Like when you invite all of these stupid ass bitches that don't, and I don't mean bitches as in like women, I mean stupid ass bitches and collective, the 600 people that were invited minus the two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe the 10 people that actually did what they were supposed to do. Like just, get a hold of yourself and like send out an email and be like don't come if you're not gonna do what i asked like you're one of the most powerful women in fashion one of the most powerful women in the world and you can't control 600 idiots that literally read lines and sing songs like you're better than that you're better than that and we want you to be better than that so step up your game anna we love you but you need to just do better so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am honestly so beat. I'm sorry I don't seem like extremely exuberant. It's just this really depressed me. So I'm not having a good time. But thank you guys for watching as always. I know this year was really tough on us. This Met Gala, it was not appropriate. We deserved better. But you know what? We're gonna start, we're gonna start a movement. I'm gonna start a change.org. Link in the description. But again, thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe and like and tell me if you thought I was wrong about any of the looks because I definitely am not wrong, but you can try. You can try to convince me. But thank you guys again for watching and TTYL.